Well, now, really, when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy, falling, you see, we don't say rising into love. There is in it the idea of the fall. And uh, it is, goes back, as a matter of fact, to extremely fundamental things. That there is always a curious tie at some point between the fall and the creation. Kaylin, I love you. You are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. When our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and always hold you in highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of our lives. John, you are my best friend and my partner in life. We are a team. And one of the things I love most about us is that we talk about everything and nothing. I promise to always have your back, but that includes helping you see the gray, not just the black and white. I promise to live our life to the fullest and to be the one that gets us out of the house. I promise to love and raise your son and any future kids <laughs> to be the best that they can be. But most importantly, <laughs> I promise to always offer you a bite of food <laughs> and to take a bite of yours. <laughs> but for real, what's most important is that I promise to love you through it all when we might not like each other to when it's easy to remember why we're standing here now. I love you. Marriage is a commitment where two people can find and bring out the very best in each other. You both have chosen a life partner, a best friend that is equal to your dreams. Marriage is where two people in front of God and with God out of the very best in each other, they find it. It offers sharing and growth that no other human relationship can equal, a physical and an emotional joining that has the promise of blessings for a lifetime. Lord, help John and Kaylin to fulfill the promises that they have made here today and to reflect your steadfast love and their commitment to each other. May their family and friends continue to support them in the trials of life so that their love for each other may continue to grow as long as they both shall live. Kaylin and John, Having witnessed your vows before God and all who are present today, by the authority of vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs>
Okay, John. <laughs> now I'm getting my precious grandma. <laughs>